Hello guys, your girl Cynthia. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for new videos. So in this video, I'm teaching you how to change this seal old wig to a beautiful, to a beautiful blonded wig in minutes, guys. So first of all, what you want to do is to detangle your weave. You don't want to be working with a tangled hair. Detangle all your weave detangle it very well so now what you see me is folding the weave into two so it will be easier for the bleach to penetrate you don't want to bleach a bulky weave so you want to go in by folding it into two and now you see me detangling it more in order to get a very neat work so yeah i'm using a bleach and an hydrogen peroxide developer is 12 percent so now I'm doing a ratio 1 to 2. So what I mean is if I'm taking 8 spoons of the bleach, I'm taking 16 spoons of the developer guys. So you need to be sure of your measurement not to damage your weave. So now I took 8 spoons and I'm taking 16 spoons of the developer. And then next you want to mix both mixtures together. Mix it very well guys. It's very necessary. So now what you want to do now is to start from the top from the root to the tip and you want to saturate all your strands with the bleach so guys it's easy but it's also not easy so you need to be very careful not after the stress and you'll be seeing some black black strands coming out so you want to saturate everything mix very well Saturate all your strand. Saturate all your strand with the bleach dye. So now you see me combing it, combing the hair, and making sure I'm blending everything together to comb out and go back and apply your bleach. So guys, before you do this mixture, before you start this process, please wear a hand glove as you can see me do. This chemical is so harshy, so please wear a hand glove to protect your hands from the bleach mixture. So guys, you see me applying the mixture on my hair. You can see the other one I did is already changing color. So guys, what you do next now is to put a foil and apply your bleach on the floor in case some places at the back were not gotten. So you want to apply your mixture on the foil and blend into it. So apply your mixture on the foil and saturate it very well. So guys, Take your time to do this. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry if you make a mistake. Nobody's perfect, but take your time. Take your time. So you see me saturating, and now I'm bringing another foil to leave the hair to process. And you don't want air entering into your mixture or what you just bleach now. So you need to see me. See me. I'm I'm closing every places air will come so now i'm going to fast forward this and i'm doing the same thing i'm just fast forwarding it not to get you guys bored so you see me putting a mixture going back and forth and also trying to be neat about it the first time i was doing my bleach area was so messy so see me trying to do it as neat i'm taking it um sections by section and walking my way through so you see me coming with the forward combing through and all those good stuff so now you can see depending on the on the on the quality of your weave mine before I even process it it's already processing it's changing to chocolate brown so what i want is kind of um blonde blonde level five not blonde blonde just blonde level five so you see me closing everywhere that air will come into the hair so 
So you want to do this process both to your closure, to your frontal and please be careful in your closure. You don't want to over process your knots. You don't want your hair in your closure to over process. So you see me taking it gently by gently. Now um, I didn't want my closure to have a black root so you see me bleaching starting from the beginning of the closure. If you want your closure to have a, a black root maybe you won't bleach to the top you understand those bleach just the hair I don't know if I'm making sense but don't bleach don't start from the roots just give it a little inch before you start bleaching so now I left mine to process for 30 minutes 30 to 25 minutes is okay depending on the developer you use depending on the volume of the developer you're using so when I after 25 minutes easily easily remove your foil please in when you're removing your foil very careful make sure there's nothing eatable around because it could be it's chemical you don't want to eat it so now you can see after processing what you want to do now is rinse out the bleach don't shampoo immediately rinse out that those white mixtures yes rinse it out very well i rinsed mine twice so you can rinse your three times four times as long as there's no residue because if you don't rinse your hair very well when it's dry it start giving you it start bringing out those um whitish dust so you want to rinse out your bleach out of your weave very well guys this procedure takes a lot of water but it's worth it so you see me trying to just fold the, the weave and trying to get a hold of it so you see me walking my way up please 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 don't scrub the hair just came out from chemical so you want to be so beautiful you want to be so um soft with your weave so massage so guys you can see this is my second rinsing sorry i didn't show you the first one and you can see no white residue so you want to rinse your hair very well before you go into shampooing and um, conditioning so rinsing out the bleach is very very important so now you see me rinsing it out you see how dirty the water is my second one and it's just dirty not dirty dirty so now i'm going with my shampoo just creating a ladder putting water in my shampoo and making it to form them bring my hair in please guys do not scrub i've seen videos of ladies scrubbing their weave it's not good massage always massage massage your weaves massage your wigs even your natural hair massage so you see me massaging everywhere so guys you need to wash out if there's any extra bleach extra chemical that you did that didn't get rinsed out wash it off and you see me rinsing out my shampoo yes this is me rinsing out my shampoo and i'm rinsing out any shampoo remaining and the next thing you want to do guys is to condition i use a trussemi shampoo and a conditioner i will put the link of where i go on my items in the description box below so you see me trussemi using the conditioner and I don't mix my conditioner and water I just apply it directly to the weave so you see me massaging I take my time to do things I just take my time to do it so you see me zooming in massaging the conditioner into the hair then when I'm done, I just comb it. Yeah, you can see I'm combing it to make sure the conditioner got into every strand. And what I do now is to tie it into a nylon bag and I leave it for five minutes. After you uh, dry, then you wig your way. And after that, man, you will love the procedure. So please, if you love this video, wow, you can see, you can see how beautiful came out so please guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like tell me what you think tell me videos you want to see and i'll be pleased to drop you love you guys bye